Welcome to the Chemistry, Biology and Math Revision Hub. Today we are doing the International A-Level as well as GCE Biology Practicals. This is called Practical 11, studying the ecology of a habitat using quadrants as well as transects. So let's begin. So the first part is carrying out a study of the ecology of a habitat such as using quadrants and transects to determine the distribution and abundance of organisms, measuring abiotic factors appropriate to the habitat. In this investigation, you'll be required to measure specific abiotic factors so that you can see how those factors affect the abundance and distribution of specific organisms within an area. For example, if the abiotic factor you're looking for is for soil pH, then it means you have to measure the soil pH as well as count the number of organisms that you have chosen within a specific area to see if there is a relationship or to see if there is a correlation between the changes in pH as well as the abundance and distribution of the specific organisms. When you use quadrats, you have to throw them randomly or you could use a random number generator. The investigated area could be maybe a distance from a river, it could be a field, it could be a lake, a path or an ocean. Also an area like a woodland or a desert could be a good choice. You could also choose an area with varying light intensity as maybe moving from the shed into the sunlight or around a building as you move from closer to the building where there is lower light intensity to far away from the building where there is going to be more light intensity. So when we use quadrats, you could sample two environmentally distinct areas and compare the abundance and then measure specific abiotic factors. To do this, like I already said, you have to randomly place quadrats at coordinates generated by a random number generator and then count the number of organisms of a particular species in the investigated area. Also, when you're counting, you have to choose which organisms you're gonna count and which organisms you're gonna leave out. For example, in the image we see here, some organisms may be touching the quadrat, but they're halfway in. You have to make a decision before the experiment whether those are gonna be counted as being in or as being out. Then you will record your results in a suitable table, and then you will repeat that same experiment with 10 more throws, at least 10 more throws of the quadrat randomly, and then calculate the mean number and tabulate the mean as well. And then you will find out an estimation of the number of organisms within a specific area by using the mean you have calculated. So in the next part, we carry out a study of the ecology of a habitat. In this case, we are using transects to determine the abundance and distribution of organisms by measuring suitable abiotic factors as well. In my description here, we are using light intensity, but you could also use maybe pH level, salinity, and so on, or water content of the soil. You have to carefully choose an area with a corresponding specific abiotic factor. It could be temperature, it could be pH, rainfall, sunlight, salinity, oxygen availability, and so on. You have to choose a plant species and decide whether you are using percentage cover or you're going to use the plant density as the measure of abundance. If it's plant density, then of course you have to count the specific organisms within specific quadrants placed along specific transects. If you choose counting as your method, you have to find organisms that are easy to distinguish. So it should be easy to distinguish the target, but not too abundant to make it hard for you to count. You need to write down the decisions made and define the null hypothesis for the relationship that is being studied. Then you need to position a bell transect around the investigated area. Then you will begin from one end of the transect. Ideally, it could be from the shaded area and position quadrats next to the zero mark. Then you record the abundance of the chosen species and then record the light intensity or record the temperature, whichever in this case, like the description I have here, because this is light intensity then you can record the light intensity at ground level or any other abiotic factor that you're trying to study. Then you will move the quadrat to the two meter mark and record the abundance. Remember you began at the zero mark, then two meter mark, then four meter mark and so on. Record the abundance as well as the light intensity at that time. You will do this in more transects to obtain data running from a shaded area to an area with more light or area of varying abiotic factor you need to know that transects are more appropriate when you're sampling an area that has environmental gradient. Sampling is also done systematically 
in a linear pattern, meaning you begin from here, you go to the next, you go to the next, and so on. Do not skip. We are using an interrupted bell transect for measuring the effect of changing the abiotic factor, which is light intensity, on the distribution of a single plant species. In the end, you have to measure light intensity by using a light meter. If it's temperature, of course, you have to say thermometer. If uh, you're measuring pH, you have to use a pH meter. If you're measuring oxygen concentration, then you have to use a digital oxygen probe. So this brings us to the end of this description of the experiment for using quadrats as well as transects in measuring the abundance and distribution of organisms while varying specific abiotic factors. Thank you for being with us. Do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.